ஹாய் நீட் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி சார்பாக அனைத்து விதமான டாபிக் சார்ந்த ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோவும் இனி வரும் நாட்களில் உங்களுக்கு வரும் உங்களுக்கு இதை சார்ந்த சந்தேகங்கள் கேள்விகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் கமெண்ட்ஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணுங்க எங்க எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் போடுற வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அந்த வீடியோ ரெகுலராக உங்களுக்கு வரணும்னா சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்யூ விஸ் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் ஐடியல் கேஸ் இக்குவேஷன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் Today I am going to explain ideal gas equation, Dalton's law of partial pressure. We can discuss one by one. In the last class I explained the gaseous laws. Now what is the ideal gas equation? Ideal gas equation. Ideal gas. What is ideal gas? The gas which obeys all gas laws at all temperature and pressure that is called ideal gas. Now ideal gas equation PV equal to PV is equal to NRT PV is equal to NRT what is P here pressure V means volume N is equal to number of moles and R is the universal gas constant T is the temperature by combining combining all gas laws all gas laws one by one we can discuss first one is the boyle's law what is boyle's law boyle's law states that volume inversely proportional to pressure volume is inversely proportional to pressure at constant at constant temperature temperature and number of moles this is the boyle's law Now I am taking Charles law and the Charles law. From Charles law, V is directly proportional to T. Volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant, at constant pressure. At constant pressure, volume of the gas is directly proportional to temperature. Boyle's law, volume of the gas inversely proportional to pressure. Another one is the Avogadro's law. Avogadro's, Avogadro's law or hypothesis. Now, volume is directly proportional to number of moles. What is the Avogadro's law? At similar conditions of at constant, at constant temperature and pressure. At similar conditions of temperature and pressure. volume of equal volume of all gases contain equal number of molecules or moles equal number of molecules and moles not atoms now combining this equation now write uh, volume directly proportional to and number of moles and temperature number of moles and temperature p okay now volume it is inversely proportional to pressure it is directly proportional to number of moles and temperature now write pv pv is directly proportional to nt now proportionality constant remove pv is equal to nrt this is the ideal gas equation this is called ideal gas equation the gas which obeys what is ideal gas the gas which obeys all gaseous laws at all temperature and pressure that is called ideal gas and the gas which obeys all gas laws at all temperature and pressure that is also ideal gas what is real gas the real gas at lphd low pressure high temperature real gas behave as ideal gas real gas is behaving ideal gas that is the two or the difference between real gas and ideal gas for combining all gas laws pv is equal to nrt ideal gas equation combining all gas laws we can take boyle's law volume is inversely proportional to 1 by p when volume increases pressure decreases charles law avogadro's law volume is directly proportional to number of molecules by combining this we get the pv is equal to nrt understand pv is equal to nrt very easy ideal gas equation 
R is equal to pressure, one atmospheric pressure, one atm, one atmospheric pressure. Next to volume is equal to 22.4 liters. Why 22.4 liters means any gas, one mole of any gas, one mole of any gas, any gas at STP at stp occupies occupies 22.4 liters volume remember students one mole of any gas at stp occupies 22.4 liters volume now one atm one atmospheric pressure by 22.4 liters we can write r is equal to now n is equal to number of moles 1 mole 1 mole the temperature is uh, 298 kelvin 298 kelvin after calculating this we can get uh, 0 0.0821 atm uh, liter mole and uh, kelvin atm liter mole and kelvin if you take uh, R value, another also there, 8.314 Joule per mole and Kelvin. Next one, R is equal to 8.314 into 10 key power 7 erg, erg and mole and Kelvin. We can write R is equal to 2 calorie 2 calorie mole and kelvin these are the units we can use uh, uh, r values but uh, in gaseous state we can take uh, always r is equal to 0 0.0821 atm liter per mole and kelvin now pv is equal to nrt r is equal to pv by nt now pressure one atmospheric pressure volume 22.4 liters why is 22.4 liters one mole of any gas one mole of any gas which occupies at stp occupies 22.4 liters now what are the r values remember in gaseous state we can maximum use this one 0 0.0821 atm liter mole and kelvin this one you can understand now from ideal gas we can write uh, pv is equal to nrt now PV is equal to NRT here PV is equal to N is equal to number of moles means weight by molecular weight RT RT now write another formation P is equal to P is equal to W by V W by V RT by molecular weight now we can write p is equal to weight by weight by volume is equal to density drt by molecular weight in this d is equal to pm by rt absolute density remember this different forms of equations now pv is equal to ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt here PV is equal to N means number of moles of the weight by gram molecular weight mass by molecular mass into RT. Now this one volume this side means weight by volume into RT by molecular weight. Weight by volume is equal to density DRT by MW and D is equal to PM. PM means pressure into molecular weight into R by RT. This is the absolute density formula. What is the density formula? Pm by Rt. Now ideal gas equation 
PV is equal to NRT. These are the very very important for numericals asking zone. PV is equal to NRT and D is equal to PM by RT. These are the ideal gas equations. Next one is the understand students simple PV is equal to NRT R is, R is equal to PV by NT. Now pressure is equal to 1 atmospheric pressure volume is 22.4 liters and 1 mole why because number of moles n is equal to number of moles means 1 mole and uh, into 298 Kelvin we can get or after calculating this value will get 0 0.0821 atm liter mole and Kelvin this is the very very important unit you have to remember and these are the density. next one. Dalton's law of partial pressure the very very the numericals asking zone from uh, states of matter the one is the graphs are important Boyle's law Charles law the graphs are important if graphs are as not asking means PV is equal to NRT numericals are very important Dalton's law of partial pressure and Graham's law of diffusion and uh, real gas equation negative deviation positive deviation from ideal gas and compressibility these are the problems the maximum states of matter problems are asking and please concentrate on numericals and graphs and then only you will get two questions eight marks are coming every year from states of matter next dalton's law of partial pressure what dalton's explain right now dalton's law of Dalton's law of partial pressure partial pressure partial pressure very 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 important this one and numerical asking zone from Dalton's law of partial pressure what Dalton's explain very simple and total pressure of the gas PT I am writing total pressure total pressure of the gas is equal to partial pressure of the individual gases partial pressure of the individual gases these individual gases are non reacting gases not reacted gases non reacting gases the total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressure of individual non reacting gases that is called Dalton's law of partial pressure if you take in a vessel I am taking one vessel in this I am taking H2 here I am taking helium here I am taking oxygen assumption 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 these are non reacting gases non-reacting gases in this vessel I am taking non-reacting gases now tell me total pressure of the gas is equal to this total pressure helium hydrogen oxygen I am taking now now total pressure of the vessel that is equal to partial pressure of oxygen plus partial pressure of helium plus partial pressure of hydrogen understand students in a vessel I am taking different gases assumption non reacting gases what gases non reacting gases these are non reacting gases assumption now hydrogen this is the vessel now total pressure this total pressure of the this vessel is equal to partial pressure of hydrogen partial pressure of helium partial pressure of hydrogen partial pressure of hydrogen if I am taking if I am taking in this one hydrogen gas I am taking and helium gas I am taking another vessel but two gases are individual non reacting gases these two gases are individual individual non reacting gases non reacting it behave as individual gases if individual gases means the pressure of hydrogen into V that is equal to number of moles of hydrogen 
आर टी इफ हीम ऑल्सो बिहेव एज इंडिविजुअल गैस इंडिविजुअल गैस ओनली वन इज प्रेजेंट ई बिहेविंग आई एम ओनली प्रेजेंट दैट्स वाई पार्स द प्रेशर ऑफ हीलियम इन टू वॉल्यूम दैट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मूल्स ऑफ हीलियम आर टी दीज आर द इक्वेशन वी कैन यूज इंडिविजुअल गैसेस इंडिविजुअल गैसेस आई एम टेकिंग अनदर वेजल हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम दीज अजम्पन एगेन अजम्पन दीज हाइड्रोजन इज बिहेविंग एज ए इंडिविजुअल गैसेस इंडिविजुअल गैसेस मीन प्रेशर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वॉल्यूम नंबर ऑफ मूल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन gaseous constant temperature if helium also behaving as individual gases means pressure of hydro helium volume number of moles of helium gaseous constant and uh, temperature understand students what is dalton's law of partial pressure total pressure of the gas is equal to sum of the partial pressure of the individual non reacting gases to form homogeneous mixture that is called uh, Dalton's law of pressure. Now, total pressure is equal to partial pressure of the sum of the partial pressure of the gases. Now, I am taking. We can prove the total pressure is equal to total pressure is equal to partial pressure P1 plus P2. We can prove it. How to prove this equation? P T is equal to total pressure is equal to partial pressure P1 plus P2. Okay. now this understand simply dalton's law of partial pressure no confusion total pressure is equal to partial pressure of the individual gases that individual gases are non reacting gases now total pressure is equal to partial pressure of hydrogen partial pressure of helium partial pressure of oxygen completed now another vessel i am taking helium hydrogen but both two gases are individual they are acting as individual i am only present in this vessel like this means if hydrogen is behaving as a individual means ph2 into volume nh2 rt next we can prove it pt is equal to p1 plus p2 now how to prove the that equation the states of matter is very very important uh, how to concentrate and numericals now write the vessel one vessel i am taking vessel it is a vessel i am taking gas one this is a gas one one is the gas one number of moles is n1 and uh, gas two also taking gas two number of moles is n2 in a same vessel in one vessel i am taking one is gas one gas one means what is gas one sir gas one means any hydrogen or helium anything gas 1 number of moles is n1 and gas 2 number of moles is n2 understand gas 1 is number of moles is n1 gas 2 number of moles is n2 okay now total pressure p total pressure into p total pressure into volume that is equal to total pressure of the this gas vessel total pressure pt into volume this is total volume now number of moles tell me n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 rt this is the equation number 1 sir why equation number 1 this pt means t means total p means pressure total pressure into volume of this vessel n1 plus n2 rt now another one is gas 1 gas 1 means pressure of 1 into volume is equal to n1 rt this is the equation number 2 for gas 1 gas 1 p1 pressure of partial pressure p1 into v that is equal to n1 rt now gas 2 p2 into v that is equal to n2 rt this is the equation number 3 equation number is uh, this one pt into v n1 plus n2 rt now this is the pressure of one gas first gas we can take p1 pressure and volume number of moles of first gas is n1 
आर टी नेक्स्ट सेकेंड गैस प्रेशर इज पी टू इंटू वी एन टू आर टी नाउ सेकेंड प्लस थर्ड एड सेकेंड इक्वेशन एंड थर्ड इक्वेशन वाट वी हाव टू गेट वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम पी वन प्लस पी टू पी वन प्लस पी टू दट इज इक्वल टू एन वन प्लस एन टू आर टी एन वन प्लस एन टू आर टी दिस टू इक्वेशन टू प्लस थ्री यर इज वी इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर वी पी वन प्लस पी टू इज इक्वल टू एन वन प्लस एन टू आर टी नाउ वी कैन टेक टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय वन वी कैन टेक फर्स्ट इक्वेशन P1 into V that is equal to n1 RT. The first equation is this one: P total pressure, P total pressure into V that is equal to n1 plus n2 RT. Here RT RT cancel, here V V cancel. Now tell me. partial pressure of one first gas is equal to total pressure here n1 by n1 plus n2 what is n1 by n1 plus n2 that is mole fraction of gas mole fraction of first gas is equal to n1 n1 by n1 plus n2 what is the mole fraction number of moles of particular component by total number of all components present in the solution that is equal to mole fraction now write the student now partial pressure p1 is equal to total pressure into mole fraction of 1 now please write down partial pressure of the gas partial pressure of the gas is equal to total pressure total pressure into mole fraction mole fraction of the gas this is the partial pressure p1 is equal to p total pressure into mole fraction what is mole fraction number of moles of particular component by total number of moles present in all components present in the solution If you three divided by one, three divided by one means three divided by one will get uh, what is the answer? P two is equal to P total pressure into mole fraction. This is the now P total is equal to P one plus P two is proved. This is the Dalton's law of partial pressure. we can how to get uh, partial pressure of p2 is equal to total pressure into mole fraction of second gas and this one divided by this one you will get to p2 is equal to p total pressure into mole fraction what is the dalton's law of partial pressure total pressure of the gas is equal to sum of the partial pressure of individual non reacting gases this is the Dalton's law of partial pressure. <coughs> next one, next one is a small topic. That is a if you take uh, in a beaker, here is water is present. If you are heating with it, uh, if you are heating, the water vapor is arises and dry gas is present. This is called moist, moist. moist contain some dry gas also and vapor pressure also present water vapor that is water vapor also present simply gases are collecting over water simply gases are collecting over water here is heating means this this water is evaporated moist moist means wet gas now p total pressure of moist gas is equal to moist gas is equal to pressure of dry gas dry gas plus pressure vapor pressure means that is called aqueous tension 
aqueous tension aqueous tension if you take a p dry gas is equal to p dry gas is equal to p total pressure of the moist moist minus aqueous tension aqueous tension that is called vapor pressure saturated water vapor pressure saturated vapor pressure water vapor pressure the pressure on liquid surface is called as vapor pressure the pressure the vapors on liquid surface vapor pressure means the vapors on liquid surface that is called as vapor pressure aqueous tension and use this one and these are the dalton's law of partial pressures <coughs> okay thank you